The faint hum of machinery measured each fragile heartbeat, punctuating the sterile fluorescent lit confines of the ICU. The silence with uncanny precision Nathaniel Brooks, one of the most successful black billionaires in the United States, was unconscious and his life was hanging by a thread after a devastating car accident that had left his body battered and broken. Despite the fact that he had spent years building an empire and blazing trails for others, he was as vulnerable as any other patient in the ICU at this moment. However, what shocked the hospital staff and later the police was not his injury, but the chilling act of betrayal that occurred shortly after Nathaniel was rushed into surgery. Amelia, his wife, arrived in his room with a polished high heel that echoed through the hallway. She stood by his side for only a moment before quietly slipping out of the room. She left behind an empty chair, an unread note, and a web of lies that was about to unravel. When the police were finally called, they would uncover a twist that would leave them questioning every detail they thought they knew. Nathaniel Brooks was a name synonymous with success. In the heart of Atlanta, resilience and power were born and nurtured. George and Nathaniel's upbringing was modest at best, but his mother, a nurse, and his father, a factory worker, instilled a strong work ethic in him from a young age. He exhibited a fierce intelligence and an undeniable ambition, earning scholarships and accolades that ultimately led him to Harvard. After graduating at the top of his class, he entered the world of finance and real estate with a determination that few could match. Over the years, he built a business empire from the ground up, and Brooks Enterprises was not just a company. It was a legacy real estate tech startup and green energy initiatives. As his wealth and influence grew, so did his visibility. His most significant accomplishment was not only his appearance on magazine covers, but also his establishment as one of the most influential black individuals in the United States. His marriage to Amelia Morrow, a New York socialite with attractiveness, appeared to be the focus of the public. Amelia's marriage was perceived as the ultimate union of power and privilege, due to her family ties to a dynasty of her own. However, their relationship was anything but harmonious behind closed doors. In recent years, she had grown increasingly resentful and dissatisfied with her status as a billionaire's wife. She desired to be in control, and her ambition began to eclipse her love, as Nathaniel became busier and concentrated on philanthropic endeavors. Amelia's greed became more fervent, resulting in the fissure that ultimately resulted in the tragedy. Nathaniel had just concluded a high-stakes negotiation in downtown Atlanta that day, securing a deal that he had been working on for months. It was late, and the evening sky was dark, indicating that rain was imminent. As he drove along a winding road through the outskirts of Buckhead, his car was struck by a speeding vehicle from behind causing him to spiral off the road. Nathaniel was barely clinging to life when paramedics arrived, and he was rushed to Emory University Hospital, a top-tier facility, where he was immediately placed under critical care. Witnesses would later describe the horrific crash, the twisted metal, and the brief flicker of lights as the vehicle came to a halt on the edge of a steep ravine. The media quickly became fixated on his status with reporters assembling at the hospital in search of information regarding the billionaire's condition. Upon her arrival, Amelia was impeccably attired, as if she were attending a gala, rather than at the hospital bedside of her critically injured husband. She sparingly glanced at Nathaniel, maintaining her composure and icy expression. Rather than offering words of comfort or holding his hand, she engaged in a brief private conversation with the attending physician. Minutes later, she was observed exiting the IQ, a slight smirk tugged at the corners of her mouth, leaving everyone around stunned and confused. It wasn't long before hospital staff began murmuring about Amelia's peculiar behavior. Nurses whispered to each other about how she had refused to see Nathaniel's full medical report, demonstrating no interest in his recovery plan. A staff member who was concerned about Nathaniel's welfare anonymously informed the police that they suspected foul play. This initiation of an investigation led to the presence of seasoned detectives in Nathaniel's ICU room. Charles Wettaker, the lead detective, was a seasoned officer with the Atlanta Police Department who had witnessed numerous tragedies. However, something about this case disturbed him. Why would a wife abandon her critically injured husband, and more importantly, what was she concealing? Amelia's web of deceit was beginning to unravel as Wettaker's instincts led him to investigate her recent activities. They discovered surveillance footage of her leaving Nathaniel's hospital room and returning to their Buckhead mansion in a hurry. Further investigation revealed that she had spoken to a lawyer and made urgent changes to her husband's will, taking advantage of a power of attorney Nathaniel had signed years ago. 
The detectives sensed they were only scratching the surface as they dug deeper into Amelia's past and uncovered a string of financial troubles she had kept hidden from Nathaniel. A series of failed investments, high-stakes gambling, and a lavish lifestyle had depleted her personal funds. Nathaniel's fortune had been her lifeline, and her meticulously curated world of luxury and power would crumble without him. The investigation took a darker turn when Detective Whitaker discovered evidence that suggested Amelia's involvement in the car accident may not have been as coincidental as it appeared. The vehicle that struck Nathaniel's car was rented under a false identity, and further inquiry led them to a private investigator Amelia had hired months earlier. The pieces were falling into place, and it was clear that Amelia had orchestrated the crash in order to eliminate Nathaniel and inherit his empire. When confronted with the mounting evidence, Amelia was brought in for questioning. She denied all allegations and maintained her composure, but her facade began to crack under the relentless interrogation. The surveillance footage, the altered will, and the contract with the private investigator were disclosed by Whitaker as the walls closed in on Amelia, revealing glimpses of the desperation and avarice that had driven her. The news of her arrest sent shockwaves through Atlanta. Nathaniel's devoted supporters rallied around him, appalled that the woman he had adored could orchestrate an act of such heinousness. However, the most shocking revelation was yet to come, one that would leave even the renowned detective Ives in awe. The press devoured the narrative of betrayal. Nathaniel's recovery was a slow and arduous process, but he eventually regained consciousness. Upon learning of Amelia's betrayal, he was devastated but determined to fight back. With the assistance of his legal team, he began the process of reclaiming control of his assets, thereby undoing the damage Amelia had attempted to inflict. However, Nathaniel was not satisfied with simply moving on. He saw justice not only for himself but also as a message to others who may find themselves betrayed by those closest to them. He filed charges against Amelia, aiming to expose every detail of her plot in a highly publicized trial that captivated the nation in court. Amelia's defense attempted to portray her as a victim of circumstance. However, the overwhelming evidence, including the financial records, witness testimony and footage, sealed her fate in a spectacular final moment. Nathaniel stood before the court, gazing directly at Amelia as he recollected the trust he had placed in her, the love he believed they shared, and the betrayal that nearly cost him his life. Through the ordeal, Nathaniel's public image was altered. He used his influence to launch initiatives that focused on empowering marginalized communities, ensuring that his wealth would be a force for good long after he was gone. Amelia's fall from grace was a cautionary tale about the dangers of greed and deceit, and her story of survival and resilience in the face of betrayal became an inspiration to many. Nathaniel emerged stronger, wiser, and with a renewed sense of purpose. The man who had once been known simply for his success was now celebrated for his courage, a legacy that would outlast any fortune. The courtroom was abuzz with anticipation as the trial drew to a close. The judge had dismissed the jury to deliberate, and the tension was palpable. Nathaniel sat silently, his gaze fixated on the floor, as he contemplated the torment endured by him as a result of Amelia's betrayal. The long months of physical recovery, the cold ICU room, and now the emotional toll of reliving it all in court. However, just as the judge was about to announce a recess, a tall figure entered the courtroom, moving with calm determination. The man was sharply dressed and carrying a leather satchel. He approached the judge and handed over a sealed folder. The room fell silent as the judge's expression shifted from surprise to intense concentration. He scanned the document and a glimmer of disbelief flickered across his face before he turned to address the court. This court has just received new compelling evidence that requires immediate consideration. The judge's voice was firm yet tinged with intrigue as he proclaimed the significant development. The crowd was awash in whispers as Nathaniel peered up startled and perplexed. Who was this stranger, and what had he? Disclosed, in whispering, Nathaniel's lawyer revealed that the Mr. Man was a private investigator who had been working quietly on Nathaniel's behalf since the accident. The investigator had delved deeper than anyone else, uncovering connections that no one had anticipated. The courtroom learned that Amelia's plot was far more intricate and ultimately more tragic than anyone could have imagined as the evidence was presented. Amelia's father, who had substantial business interests associated with Nathaniel's empire, had orchestrated her descent into financial desperation by exploiting her vulnerabilities and feeding her ambition in order to seize control of Brooks Enterprises. 
Amelia's trust in him and her desire for prosperity had resulted in her being blinded by a twisted family scheme. Nathaniel observed in stunned silence as the pieces of the puzzle finally fell into place. Amelia's motivations were not solely driven by greed. Rather, they were rooted in a web of manipulation that had her entangled between her loyalty to her father and a misguided attempt to prove herself. Despite her ultimate betrayal, he perceived her as a woman who had been broken, used, and ultimately discarded by those she trusted the most. As the details unfolded, Amelia broke down in tears, her icy facade melting as the weight of her actions and the depth of her family's betrayal became apparent for the first time since the accident. Nathaniel witnessed the woman he had once loved vulnerable and remorseful. This heartbreaking revelation painted a complex picture of betrayal, ambition, and deception in a dramatic twist of rather than pursuing the utmost penalty for Amelia. Nathaniel made a decision that shocked everyone. He requested leniency in her sentencing, stipulating that she complete community service and counseling. Nathaniel's request was granted by the judge, who was moved by his compassion and resilience, and Amelia's sentence was reduced. Several months later, Nathaniel resumed his efforts by establishing a foundation that was specifically designed to prevent and expose financial exploitation. His narrative was now recognized as not only one of betrayal, but also as one of forgiveness and a resolve to disrupt the cycle of manipulation that had nearly devastated him. In that quiet moment, Nathaniel realized that his legacy was not merely about surviving betrayal, but about transforming it into a legacy of hope and healing for others. His new mission was a testament to his strength, a path forward that honored both his own journey and the capacity for growth and redemption. As he gazed at the Atlanta skyline, he knew he had found peace in a happiness that was far deeper than wealth or power could ever provide.